Hello, here I made a ESP station that connects to the internet through Wi-Fi and the other nodes can connect to the station through NRF24 chip. As you can see, I started the station. You can see what's going on in the station on a screen. It connects to Wi-Fi, creates an HTTP server, and now I can access the server over the internet. I had to set up a port forwarding on the router to forward my custom port to this custom IP address that ESP module is reserving on router. And now I can access the web page from this station over the internet from anywhere in the world. Now it says that no nodes are connected to this station. Now I power on the node on this breadboard. The node connects to the station. It's called node 1. And I reload the web page on the phone, and now you can see this node listed and the buttons to control it. When I press any of these buttons, the command is sent to the station over the internet. Then the station sends the command to the node, and the node reacts to it. You can turn on, turn off the relay. You can rename this node. The name is permanently stored on the node. Even if you restart it, it will still remember the name. This way you can make any types of nodes. Locks using solenoids. Control garage door. Thermostat. Security systems. You can also make nodes that send commands to the server of your choice. Which can also send an email or SMS to your mailbox. So you get notified if something happens. First I made this station on a breadboard, but then I transferred it to a custom PCB board. It's an ESP device. The main program runs on the ESP. On the left, there is Arduino chip that serves as a bridge between ESP and NRF because I was unable to control NRF chip from ESP. If you can figure it out, it's even better, but I couldn't. Here you can see all the connections. I also made it so you can plug in into a breadboard to do some further testing with ESP chip. If you take off a screen and the NRF chip, you can see my Arduino chip there. One button resets both Arduino and ESP. Another button sets ESP into programming mode. This is FTDI chip that programs Arduino chip. This one I use to program ESP chip. I find it easier to program ESP chip than using FTDI. So I can program them both at the same time. Now when I start it up you can see initializing NRF chip, connecting to Wi-Fi and starting HTTP server. And this is my node currently on a breadboard. It turns on and off a relay. FTDI programs my miniaturized 
version of Arduino on a breadboard. That's a reset button. This is NRF module.